Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64, and this is a review of the Slenderman Shadow Map Prison, so let's do this. Alright, so the newest map in the Slenderman Shadow series, and here we are. So, this is prison, and as the name would insinuate, this takes place in, well, a prison. There are prison cells in here. And in this map, you're collecting eight photos. However, I actually have no idea where the photos are, because I couldn't find any in this map. So it's just like claustrophobia, they're extremely well hidden. And also, as you can see, you can actually see the character's hand, and apparently he's holding some kind of light. It's not a flashlight, but it's emitting some kind of light. And I believe you can turn the light off by right-clicking, and you can turn it back on by left-clicking. So first, we're gonna go down here. Uh, I believe there's actually three ways you can go at the beginning of the map. And after a bit of walking, we come across two holes in the wall. Which way do we go? Which way is the correct way? And which way has the Slender Man waiting for me? Fine, let's go this way then. And there is a flashlight lying on the ground, but apparently I can't pick it up. Not to mention, you also get like a small crosshair in this game as well. Now, there are actually flashlights hidden across the map. I'm not exactly sure what the flashlights are for though. Maybe they lead you to where one of the photos are? I don't know. But now, we have come across a prison cell. And there's a toilet, which I can use just in case the Slender Man suddenly appears. There's apparently a bed. Now in this map, they actually changed some stuff with the Slender Man. Apparently, they have rewritten his AI from the ground up, and he also has a new appearance as well. And also, I actually found out that if you look at him, the static sounds that he makes are the same static sounds that are made in Slender D8 Pages. Now also in this game, you have unlimited stamina. However, sprinting will actually decrease your maximum speed over time, and the Slender Man will become aware of your presence, so you should only use sprint when you actually need it. It is a long hallway, and it is very dark, and I have no idea where these photos could be. If you ask me, I find that this map is quite similar to Claustrophobia, because you're basically trying to navigate through a maze, and not to mention the things that you actually need to collect are extremely well hidden, and I really have no idea what the heck these flashlights are even doing there. I don't even know where they're trying to lead me. Maybe there's a photo in this room. Let's look around. It seems very empty. And apparently there does not seem to be a photo there. There doesn't seem to be any photos in these prison cells either. I have no idea where the heck I'm even going. Let's check for the Slender Man. Is he there? He's not there. Alright, good. Maybe there's one hidden in that sink. Apparently not. Alright, while I'm searching around for the photos, I actually uh, want to say this. Uh, apparently the next Slender Man Shadow Map, which is Carnival, along with the Slender Man Shadow SDK, and also the Christmas Special, are apparently now going to be released as part of a secret project that Mark Steen, the creator of Slender Man Shadow, has been working on for a while now. And at the moment, the secret project does not have a release date. On the Slender Man Shadow website, it just says coming soon. But what exactly will the secret project be? We'll have to wait and see. There's some windows. There's apparently a door over there. I have no idea what that's for, though. More than likely, this is an abandoned prison, because there's no prisoners in here. The lights still seem to work, though. And actually, I find that the lights look kind of weird in this game. As you can see, they just seem to have, like, red and blue outlines around them. It's kind of weird. In fact, there's actually another horror game called Paranormal, and the lights in there actually look kind of similar to the ones in prison. Well, the ceiling lights in prison, anyway. Also, these things to my right that I'm walking by right now, um, for some reason, they almost seem to have, like, kanji on them. I don't know, they almost seem to look like Japanese letters or some weird symbols or whatever. I have no idea what that's for either. I still cannot find any photos. Let's go down here then. Oh, apparently we can't. There's the Slender Man. So as you can see, he actually looks different now. And the static noises that he makes are actually the same static noises from Slender DA Pages. Listen. So there you go, he makes the same static noises that he does in Slender DA Pages. You know what, fine, he wants to have another staring contest? Come here, get right up to your face. Oh wait, you don't have one, that's right. How you doing? Well, apparently not. He is not doing so fine on this glorious Tuesday afternoon. Well, at least at the time I'm recording this, it's Tuesday. Alright, going to a rave, let's do it. There we go. A bit of, uh, slower flashing. Thanks a lot, Fraps. 
It's funny how Fraps can, like, never record videos of this game, like, at a stable frame rate. It's just weird. Like, what am I supposed to do to get it to record at, like, a faster frame rate? I'm trying to record it at 30 frames per second, but it's recording only at, like, 5. It's strange. But there you go, there's at least some proof that Slenderman can actually appear, even if you haven't collected any photos. But anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna end this video off here, so yeah. So there was a bit of, uh, exploring the new Slenderman Shadow Map prison. And apparently this map is also supposed to be the scariest installment in the Slenderman Shadow series. Well my goodness, I think that's an understatement, because at one point when I was actually not recording, I was walking around near some of the prison cells, and the screen actually flashed a static for a split second and played a loud static noise. Just like in Slender D8 Pages. However, I couldn't see the Slenderman anywhere, so... He must have teleported somewhere that I couldn't see him, or he must have defied the laws of physics and teleported inside a wall. But yeah, so Slenderman is basically smarter now in this map because his AI has been completely rewritten from scratch, basically. So yeah, the scariest installment in the Slenderman Shadow series. But you know what, I think we should wait until at least Carnival or the Christmas special comes out in order to actually confirm that theory. But yeah, so if you want to download this map for yourself, the link's in the description of this video, so yeah. Well anyway, this was a short review of the Slenderman Shadow Map Prison. This is Dr. Robotnik64, thank you for watching. And if you want, feel free to like or favorite this video, or maybe even subscribe if you want to see more Slenderman Shadow review videos, or maybe just some gameplay and rant videos, so yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next Slenderman Shadow review then, where I review Carnival. And maybe when the SDK is finally released, I might actually maybe create my own Slenderman Shadow Map. And I'm not exactly sure if I'll give Slenderman any presents when the Christmas special comes out, but yeah. But until then, we'll have to wait until the secret project is released to actually play them. So yeah, but that's pretty much it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.